Welcome to the Home Team Sacramento Podcast. I'm Josh Takimoto. With me, it's been a while, but with me today is Kevin Bracey. What's going on, Kevin? Let's go, JT, man. I miss you. I, I miss you. I miss us, what we do on here, man. I've been watching, you know, all the different shows and all the different guests you have on, man. You've been doing a phenomenal job, man. You don't even need me. I'm just a little extra. No, little, that's not little, true at all. Icing on the cake. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, man, I appreciate that. And, and you know, it's, it's weird, though. Like, I'm as much as I would love to have you here on every podcast episode, I could also, I'm also excited for you when you're not, because I know that means you're just out there killing it at schools, at um, different corporations, you just speaking, doing your thing, uh, instilling that greatness in everybody that you're talking to, man. So uh, selfishly, I would love to have you here, but f- like, <laughs> I'm also happy for you, man, because I, I know you're just doing an amazing job out there. So and uh, I like that t-shirt too. I got to cop me one. Oh yeah. R- routine baseball, routine baseball. It's a, it's a good company for sure. <laughs> when I see home, I think a home team. Come on, man. I, hey man, that's why I wear it. That's why I wear it. <laughs> hey, uh, let me, let me say this too. I know we, we're going to do a, a pretty short one today. Um, yeah. but I've, I've always felt like you're, you're an honest dude. Um, you've always been honest with me, but I've got I've got to say, man, I do not believe that you are 50 years old. You just, I think, I feel like you're lying to me, man. Like we need to check Kevin's birth certificate because recently, I mean, at this point it's been a few weeks ago, but you celebrated your 50th birthday. Um, I and I, I just don't believe it, dude. I do not it's believe crazy. it. It's crazy. It's hard for me to believe too, uh, but yeah. it's reality, man. I'm, I'm not even <laughs> mad at it. I'm not hiding it. I'm not fighting it, but it is definitely hard for me to believe because there are moments yeah. where I still feel like that you know, that 25 year old or that 30 year old, not from a necessarily a physical perspective, being able to do all the things that I used to be able to do. Sure. Um, but just, just how I think and how I, you know, my energy when I'm with kids and in front of audiences, so on and so forth. So it's hard for me to believe too, but it's the truth. (laughs) All right, man. Well, I'll take you at your word, even though I think, I I don't think I'm alone. I think a lot of people are in in the same boat as me, but uh, anyways, man, happy belated birthday. Thank you, sir. And um, yeah, man, I'm just excited to talk to you real quick. And like I said, we'll, do, we'll, yeah. we'll keep it pretty short for this one. But, okay. um, you know, something that I, I text you about, as far as you know, when we think about different topics to talk, talk about, we try to, you know, talk about things that coaches can use. But we also like to have fun on here. Like we like to talk that's about fun. fun stuff. One of our last episodes, you and I were just talking about sports and, and different things. Yeah. And, you know, that's part of what too, part of what what this is too. It's like we want to give tools to coaches and athletes, but at the same time, we want to give them something that they just enjoy listening to. Absolutely. You know, to help build up the home team. So I don't know if you saw this video, but there's a video I saw on Instagram a little while ago. It was a T-baller walking up to the plate. Yes. And, and he was dancing. Of, he was dancing to um, still <laughs> still not a player by big pun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crazy. I watched he was that doing video. his thing though. He was. I mean, the game just completely stopped. So that he could right. dance up. It was, it was amazing. And so I thought about that. I'm like, man, you and I both, both love music. Um, why don't we just do a quick, you know, a quick, uh, music episode because there's such a huge connection between sports and music, right? Like it's, it's, you, you hear any sizzle reel, there's music, right. you, you see any highlight reel, there's music. I've always heard that, uh, NBA guys want to be rappers and rappers want to be NBA. That's, guys. I was just about to say that you took the words right out of my mouth. You know, I mean, you always, you always hear that stuff with any athlete. Right. And so we just have, I I sent you four kind of prompts, sports related prompts that also connect to music. Um, And so we'll just run through those real quick. And then hopefully once we post this on Instagram, um, I would love to hear any, any listener. I would love to hear your playlist as well. I want to hear your answers to these questions because, you know, I think music connects us, sports connects us. So why not bring the two things together? So Mm -hmm. uh, the first one I have here, man, is a must have workout song. I know that we have workout playlists. I know you're a big music guy. Yeah. I know I see the videos of you dancing in your garage, doing yeah. your thing, working out. But if you had to have, if there's one song that makes it onto every single workout playlist that you have, what is that one song? So now, and I've read, I read the questions, but here's, here's what's hard for me. Yeah. Picking out that one is hard for me. Yeah. Because I'm such a music guy. I yeah. love music. To, sports and music are my two favorite things in the world. These two things are things that take all my problems away. When I'm with, with listening to music, sometimes music uh, uh, stimulates emotion from the past or something I remember where I could have some tears that might seem sad. But they're cleansing sometimes where you got to get that stuff out. Right. But then you talk about sports, playing sports and, and staying connected to sports. Those two areas make me so happy. They bring a joy to me that it's tough to describe. Yeah. So picking one song is hard. But oh, yeah. if I had to go off the top of my head right now, 
it will be that D M X. Well, you got to come and get it, player. We win it. All you got to hey. do is say, it, baby, <laughs> lie or die. What y'all really want? Oh, I love that. Y'all really want D M X. Let's go, <laughs> man. Hey, just yes, you guys know, I, I'm not doing that. That's all, Kevin. I'm just gonna <laughs> name my song. <laughs> I love it. Hey, man, DMX, DMX. Uh, I didn't, Come I didn't on. have that down, but that's like every playlist. They've been playing a lot of DMX during the NBA Finals. <laughs> Let's <Yeah>. go. <laughs> <laughs> man, I love it. I'll tell you what, man. If DMX doesn't get you hyped, I, I don't on. know. I don't I know what chills. will. Man, yeah, I'm with you. He usually makes it into my playlist as well. Like, okay. like you said, man, it's it's tough to pick one song, but that's a great choice, man. I right. love that. Right. Let me say this before you go. How about yeah. y'all go make me lose my Come mind? Come on, man. Up- <laughs> Go, oh, sorry about that, Come JT. On. I got I lo- excited. Hey, man, please. Hey, I was expecting this. I was expecting <laughs> this. And I, I was like I said, I just want to let the listeners know that's yeah. not going to happen here. I don't have I don't have the same rhythm <laughs> that Kevin does. Yes, sir. I love it, man. But no, that's I love that. That's um, like I said, same thing for me. DMX is always in there. And yeah. just so everybody knows, Kevin, I know Kevin. You have a little bit of a different audience. You have middle schoolers, little ones, yeah, parents. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just so everybody knows. You know, the there might be the explicit label on a lot of the these songs. Clean so. version. Yeah, find the clean version for, with the kids. Uh, yeah. Just a preface for that. Preface <laughs> that for everybody else out there. Don't don't play these songs without checking them out first. Um, man, for me, one of the songs that I, that's made it in my playlist and typically is in every single workout playlist that I I create is uh, "Legend Has It" by Run the Jewels. Ooh. You know what I mean? Again, I'm yes. not singing, I'm not singing the song, but uh, <laughs> you know what I mean. Just man, the energy the energy of that crazy. Song, Love it. And that's, that's one of those songs I, I typically put towards the middle end of the playlist. Right. Because when the, when the sets get a little heavier, when the reps get a little heavier, yes. when, you're, when I'm on my or the run, legs, when you're out there running and you're on running 14 and 15, that little extra juice. I, I love man. I love the energy of that song. I love, I love run the jewels um, as a group, but that song specifically, man, really, yeah. really gets me going. That's, that's the one for me. But like that's you awesome. said, it's like picking your favorite kid. You know what I mean? Like, there's so, so many songs out there. Because I'm a Tupac fan, Jay Z fan, EVE fan, Brat, yeah. the Brat. I'm going to my school now. Yeah. The Brat. You know what I mean? I got yeah. so many Foxy Brown. I got. Come on, man. Don't well, it, de- it depends on the day, right? That's depends that old your, school, though. Right. My you, school. <laughs> whatever your mood is going into that workout, it kind of depends. You know, right. it's not the same for every workout. Right. Like you said, my my running. Sometimes I'll put different. Miguel yeah. there. Sometimes I'll yeah. put Miguel on. Sometimes I'll put John Legend on. Sometimes it's Jodeci. Sometimes I want to slow it down because I want to slow my reps down and slow my movement down. Yeah, I'll tell you what. This is kind of a funny story. I was, um, I heard a Miguel song. I think it's called Adorn. Yes, and, sir. Uh, yeah, Come it's on. a good song. And I'm like, oh, I love that song. So I, I downloaded it. And then somehow uh, I was at the gym and I was lifting and it was during, a, I was squatting. It was a more difficult set. And, you know, I forgot, it went from like, uh, it went from like Kanye, like power, right? And Ooh. all of a sudden that cut off and it went to a door. I'm like, what is, what happened? Not the jump I wanted to make, <laughs> but right. somehow it slipped its way into my playlist. And it's like, what happened? Luckily I made it through that set, but I'm yeah. like, that was not, I had to remove that quickly because I was not Different ready energy. for it. <laughs> Different energy, right? If you go power, yeah. you got to go something that's going to take you up higher. And that's hard to get higher than that power. That yeah, Kanye so now, power is off the chain. Oh, I love I love it. Well, yeah, so now I double check my playlist. I can't have that happen in the middle of a set. <laughs> right. right. But uh, yeah, that's those are, I think it's a great choice, man. Um, okay, number two, this, a song that you associate with uh, a sports memory. So okay. something that, you know, like maybe it's nostalgic, something that you, when you mm-hmm. think about a, a certain song it automatically takes you back to a certain time in sports i'll tell you i'll tell you mine real quick if you yeah 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 uh i'm a huge san francisco giants fan a huge baseball fan the one that i always think of it anytime i hear this song and i heard and i is even when i heard it during the super bowl halftime show i hear the beat of the song it automatically takes me back to when barry bonds is walking up to the plate next episode by dr dre Ooh. that was his uh, you know dun, dun, dun. like man anytime i hear that oh, beat oh. Oh, it always takes me back to like watching Barry Bonds growing up and just destroying da, 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 da. the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's for me. Man. Like, oh. Come on, man. You know I'm mobbing with the D O double G. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what? Man, that Ooh. yeah, that's the soundtrack of my college years. What, Come on, what, man. what, what? Oh, man. every time, every time he walked I up love to the it. plate. Yeah, and one I of my favorite it. athletes of all time, Barry Bonds, which who you met. We can talk about that a different time. Yeah. But, um Jerry Rice, two Barry of legends. Yeah, Jerry we got to talk Barry. about that conversation yeah. I had with him before we go today, if we can. 
Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, that's for me, man. That always brings me back. Brings that's me back. awesome. Well, now I'm just going to throw this out there because it's current or yeah. most current in my head. Now, when I hear that Dre, um, um, guess who's back? You know it reminds me of the Super Bowl. So it takes yeah. me to the Super Bowl. Yeah. And right when I heard those keys before Snoop and Dre came out, I had tears coming out of my eyes because it yeah. took me back to my college years right away because Snoop was the hottest in Dre in the 90s. Right. And from 90 to 96, I graduated from high school in 90, played baseball from 90 to 93 at ARC, from 93 to 96 at the University of Utah. Dre and Snoop was everything. Yeah. And Pac, they were right. everything. So right. that's one. But the one that really gets me emotionally is and it's not a hip-hop song it's that put me in coach i'm oh, yeah. ready to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah oh come on when i think of player? when i was playing pro ball yeah. in canada they played that every game yeah in between innings and then i think it was called cotton eye cotton eye joe i don't know if I, okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. cotton eye joe you're right yeah cotton eye joe <laughs> yeah that but it takes yeah. me back to taking ground balls in between innings yeah you know, we're playing pro. I'm in, I'm playing, I'm getting paid to do this. Yeah. And I think that I put me in coach. They played that in Canada all the time. So when I hear that, it, it triggers something in me because yeah. it takes me back to, I cannot believe I'm getting paid hmm. to play a game that I used to play in my front yard with a tennis ball and a broomstick. Yeah. So it just takes me back. Put me uh in coach. I love, I love that. Yeah. And I hundred percent, man, I think any ball player, I mean, I, I'm sure they still play that to this day. It does right. take you back to those summer games, especially for me, like all-star tournaments, you know, yes. Memorial day tournaments, things I played in. Uh, it's just, it was just a classic song. It's a Come far, on. it's a far Some cry far from a uh, Dre cool and, and Stu. Right. But... <laughs> <laughs> Some far siege, Chico sticks, you know, all the, all the candies that we used to eat or Jolly ranchers and all the stuff you could get at a baseball game. Come on, man. It takes you back. 100%. Okay, we're back. We had to take a quick break. And uh, we'll jump back into this thing. So, um, you know, something I wanted to mention to you, Kevin, because you and I are both, uh, you know, we love music. I love all kinds of music. I'm gonna be honest with you, though, I do not like country, respect country, okay. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. respect country. I know people love country. I just I could never get into it. But I'll tell you the, right. the weird thing about that. Again, being a baseball guy, the one place where to me, it actually sounds and feels good is on the ball field. I remember they would play that over the speakers while you know we were throwing, you know, warming up, you know, fielding ground balls, fly balls. And as much as I don't like country, it sounded right out there, which is yes. such a weird thing. Like one of my favorite places in the world, the ball field, <sighs> and a music that I just can't connect with. Like for some reason, it meshed out there. Is it that meshed, weird? Right. No, I get it. I get it. Anything that has to do with baseball, any song, I don't care what it is. Yeah. I'm. I'm connected to it. I just, yeah. I love the whole feel of being at the yard, man. And I remember, put, I mean, I just, I don't take it, any of it for granted. And I didn't just putting the cleats on and getting out there, man, putting the uni on. Don't get me, we, that's yeah. off topic, but I just get excited. man. hundred percent. No, it was uh, yeah. Just one of those things I, I think about sometimes is like, man, you would have thought that even with, with the baseball connection, maybe I would have connected with that music more, but no, it's like, it only, I only connect with it when I'm on the ball field. So the bay, me know, too. Mm -hmm. that being said, respect anybody who loves country music. I just can't get down yeah, with it. Oh man. I, I mean, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad yeah. at it. I just can't, if I can't say, Hey, let, Hey, yeah. I, I can't listen to it. I gotta be able to say, yeah. Hey, to it. There's gotta be something there. Hey, yeah, no, I'm with man, you. Hey, no disrespect. It's all love. All love. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, man. So the next one we got here is, if you were, and I switched this up a little bit for you and I, I, I think my first thought is a baseball walk-up song. Uh, but obviously okay. we have other, other people here that are listening to this that aren't, aren't ball players, but uh, maybe it's, you know, if you're a basketball player, maybe it's just that, that song that mm -hmm. you you're introduced to. Maybe it's, uh, maybe if you're a fighter, maybe you love MMA and it's mm -hmm. that entrance, that walk-in song, whatever it is, that song that you would enter the stadium, enter the arena to for us, like I said, probably a baseball walk-up song. What would that song be for you? Well, I, it's hard for me to say what it would be because I, it, I keep connecting to what it was. When I was playing in Canada, they always played Montel Jordan. This 
is how we do it <laughs> every single time. That's so I'm awesome. walking up, banging my head like oh, this. Oh, man. That's a classic, right? Yeah. When that's I, awesome. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, number five, batting, you know, ladies and gentlemen, batting second, playing second base. Number five, Kevin Bracey. This is how we do oh, it. Oh, man. my goodness. And they dropped it on the one. Oh. <laughs> And I was going up there, JT, just that first hack was yeah. always out of my shoes. I was almost I falling down on I that bet. first one. And then I had to regroup. Yeah. Oh, man. That's amazing. So that's it's a, it's, the one that I, I'm not mad at that one. I'm not mad at that one. It doesn't get you fired up, but it makes me want to dance. And I'm a dancer. So. Yeah, yeah. That's funny. That's awesome, man. I love that. Because and sometimes, like like you said, you played pro ball. It's so like some of these questions like for me this is like hey what would it what would it be right. if i had the opportunity for you it's like you actually lived it which is kind of a cool thing right um, right but no i would have never expected that you just have to do it well, I tell you. <laughs> that's the one Man. yeah and i'll tell you what for certain people that could have been a disservice right like if you're sure a huge dancer is like you're trying to walk up to the up to the plane that's where like, i was i was bobbing my head <laughs> walking up and i had to calm yeah. it down because yeah. i knew to be honest that night after the game yeah. I was going to be in the club dancing to that right. song. <laughs> right. I mean, I'm just telling you what we did, man. We yeah, played man. ball and Absolutely. went to the club. I mean, what are you going to talk about? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it. So, man, for me, um, like I said, I, I did not have the opportunity. So, for me, this is just a dream. Mm -hmm. But one of the songs that I, I've heard played um, before concerts, um, I think the first time I heard this actually played in a stadium or at, at a Golden One Center here in Sacramento was, who did I see? It was Chance the Rapper. Went to go see Chance the Rapper. Okay. And, you know, the DJ was doing his thing before. And they played All of the Lights by Kanye. That's my song, wife's man. favorite song. She, I love that song. My wife's favorite to spin to and everything. Oh. All the lights. That, that would be it for me, man. Like, the, again, the energy of that song. And it's just like, it's a big song. I mean, du, 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 du. is that one? Du, du, uh, that's no, I think, that's, I think that's Trophies by that's Drake. Oh, um, tro okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm blanking on right now. Hey, hey, tro yeah, yeah, that one. Tro yeah. Hey, trophy's not bad either, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad song either. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I love that song. Like I said, it's a it's a big. I mean, I feel like most of the stuff that Kanye does, especially on that on that yes. my dark twisted fantasy album, is like it's a big sound. But um, yeah. man, for me, just like the idea of walking to the plate or you know or warming up on the pitcher's mound. Yeah. While that song is just like blasting through the stadium like it just gives me chills man i love that song love that beat hey my wife's favorite every time in spin when she came to my classes she was like make sure you she texts me yeah. i'm up i'm up about to start the class and she texts yeah. me make sure you play all the lights yeah <laughs> <laughs> i say no i'm not playing that this yeah. today <laughs> That's a good, that's a good point. I, are you still yeah. doing the spin class thing? No, I'm not be just because I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to be in the gyms and stuff. I, with me and my wife sure. got a routine, yeah. we, you know, once COVID hit, we started working out in the garage and there's just something about being able to use the restroom when you need to, cause you're at home and not right. have to grab all of your bags and go to the restroom and come back and lose your machine and all the stuff. Right. We found a groove right here at home and we spend more time together. Yeah. I mean, that's two hours. I'd spend two, three hours away from home because right. I was at the gym right but now we that those two three hours I'm spending with my wife because we both worked out together here so it was a good good connection yep I gotcha good cool, cool, cool. yep yeah for sure um all right man so I got the last one we got here number four yeah you kind of alluded to this already if you're on your way to the club if you're uh okay. that post game you got you got the win <laughs> post game celebration what what song are you celebrating to what's the song that you're driving away from the stadium you know, listening to thinking like this is a California day. love. Do, 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 do. Yeah, perfect. Love it. Every time. Yep. I don't care if I'm in New York. I don't care if I'm in Dubai. I don't care if yeah. I'm in Miami. <laughs> California love. Yeah, you can't go. beat it. You can't beat it. I don't bail fresh out of jail. <laughs> California dreaming. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it just brings me back to the um, the, the halftime show, man. Like, and that oh last time we, last time we recorded, I think it was last time you and I recorded. I think it was right before the Super Bowl. Yes, knowing that that was the show, man. That was probably. I mean, for me personally, I mean, I'll say this: it was my favorite halftime show, hands down for me. Easy, too. just I, our I feel like era. For most people, yeah, just our era. Even, I mean, they could have done anything else that they wanted to do in that space in our era, but that in LA gets no better than that, right? Well, and then I, we didn't talk about this at all, but then you have 50 
<laughs> drop dropping from this or hanging from the ceiling <laughs> hanging from the ceiling like what is going on here like just that was yeah, crazy amazing yeah. amazing the only thing so, that i think could have been substituted for 50 although i like 50 is is cube maybe cube you I know what i mean the, just because it's la i'm thinking i said, maybe I said the same thing cube yeah that's all yeah I, to, I told my i told my brother the same thing i said and it was great but like if i had to i, I probably would have done the same thing absolutely i'm, I'm kind of surprised they didn't like i thought that was going to happen Right, right. But, you just uh, never know. Mm-hmm. You never like, know. But that being said, things that happen, you know. Yeah. Right, for sure. But hey, you know what? I can't complain about it. It was an incredible show. Incredible. But, uh, but yeah, anyway, so so you have California Love. Yeah. Great song. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually going to the opposite coast. Okay. So with, uh, for me, it would be, um, it's, it's a biggie song, but it's remixed by a, a guy named Matoma, who does a okay. lot of like house, tropical type stuff, dance music, yeah. and Old Thing Back. And it's uh, oh, yeah, yeah, but it's it's like it's like this kind of like this islandy tropical remix, and yeah. man, especially because again, being a ball player, you play games in the spring and summer, like you kind of drive away on those summer evenings from a game. And yeah. this one, if you haven't heard it, you know, go listen to it again. This is not one you want to listen to with the kids in the car, right? Because uh, you'll have some explaining to do about a couple of uh, things that are said. It's Absolutely. a Biggie song, but um, yeah, he flips that Biggie song. And it's it's incredible. You have Jaw Rule on it. It's yeah, it's a fun right. song. I would recommend it, man. I would also probably I'm gonna add in California Love. I would also give me that. Tell me when to go. Tell me when to go. Oh, E40. Yeah, E40. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, come on, man. <laughs> you give me E40 on yeah. that. Oh man, yeah. So I I'll take two. California Love and tell me where to go. Tell me when uh, to go. Right. Hey man, you can't go wrong with any any of those choices. Right. Um, right. So that, that's pretty much it, man. That's the list that I had. I don't know if you had any other any other thoughts yeah. about the music let me, thing. Or, let, me share, let me share this to you uh, with you outside of the music. The day yeah, I remember meeting Barry Bonds. Let me just close. We'll close with this. Oh, please. Because so, I, so, I just want to say before you start. So Kevin oh, yeah. <laughs> Kevin sends me a text one night. He's like, hey, man, look at this this uh, event that I'm a part of. And you sent me, sent me the itinerary and the schedule. And yeah, I, the speaker uh, lineup. It was just a stack. And I'll let you tell who was on it. But just a stacked lineup. I'm like, oh, my gosh. And then that wasn't even including Barry Bonds, who you met there. So I was already blown away. And then when I saw the pictures the next day, I'm like, what, what is this? What? what is he doing? It's incredible. So I'm sorry. I just had to preface that by saying. No, no, no. It's cool. I was speaking at an event in Vallejo. It was for all the eighth graders in the Vallejo School District. And it was put on by Kaiser Permanente, which is a hospital here in California. I'm not sure if it's around the world, but around the country. But I know it's in Cali. Yeah. <clears throat> And I was speaking at this event and the speakers that were on the lineup that were in the lineup were Cedric, the entertainer. If you don't know who that is, look him up. He's one of the original Kings of comedy. Mm -hmm. You've got uh, Jerry Rice was on the card, a lady by the name of Christine Simmons, who was was a very successful entrepreneur is on the card. Um, uh, 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 Dougie fresh was on the card. (laughs) Come on. Um, Demarcus Cousins was on the card and was in the speaker lineup and uh, uh, Beyonce, uh, Beyonce, Noel, Matthew Knowles, Beyonce's dad was on mm-hmm. the card. And the surprise to me was Barry Bonds was there. So I'm standing backstage because I'm one of the speakers out of all those. I'm the only non-celebrity speaker on the lineup. Yeah. In the lineup. And I'm, I'm backstage and I'm just kind of chilling. And this lady comes up to me and she kind of looks at my outfit up and down. And then I'm, I'm looking at her. She's looking at me. And then she was taking pictures. And I was like, what is going on? And she came over. She goes, don't think I'm weird. I'm just taking pictures because I'm talking to Barry. And I was like, Barry, she's like, Barry Bonds. I was like, okay. She said, Barry's looking at the schedule right now of what's going on at this event and said, in my piece said motivational entertainer, which is who I am. I'm not just a speaker. I'm a motivational entertainer. And he goes, who's the motivational entertainer? He was like, that kind of sounds boring. And then she said, I'm taking a picture of you so that I can let him know there is nothing boring about this outfit right here. Oh. So I'm just letting him know. So I'm just letting him know that there's nothing boring. Look, yeah. I had no idea, JT. Ten yeah. minutes later, he comes walking up. I didn't wow. know he was. I didn't know he was speaking. Yeah. And she was like, and she. So she introduced us. When she introduced us, I went over and I went to shake his hand. I shook his hand and I walked over to him and I said, "Man, I don't care what they say. I said you're the goat. I don't care yeah. what they say." He goes, "I know." I know. 
<laughs> Look, he was like, I know you ain't even got to tell me. He goes, I don't need them yeah. for validation. He's like, yeah. I do not need it. Yeah. So he knows he's the GOAT, whether he makes it to the Hall of Fame or not. Yeah. He knows in his mind and his in his heart in our era, yeah. we know who the greatest of all time is. Yeah. I know you could say steroid, you can talk about that all day long, but let me keep it a stack, JT. Everybody, a lot of people were doing it too. Okay. Oh, I don't know whether he was doing it. Right. I didn't see him do it. Right. But when you look at his body change, okay, I played. Right. I'm telling y'all. Yeah. Now I didn't play in the big leagues. I yeah. played independent professional baseball, and there were guys on my team that went to the show. Our catcher mm -hmm. was in the show playing for the California Angels. Wooten is his last name. He played in the World Series, and he was a catcher for us. Yeah. So, And then uh, our center fielder played in the big leagues. I'm telling y'all now, most, I don't know about all, were doing what Barry, Mark McGuire, Jose Canseco, uh, uh, Sosa. Uh, Sosa, all of yeah. them. So yeah. just because he did it and played better than all those other ones, don't be mad at him. Because you, I'm a ball player, so I know you still got to have eye-hand coordination no matter what kind of, you know, enhancements you might be taking. Yeah. So well, it was just an amazing moment for me. Oh, I mean, I was jealous. I was jealous. <laughs> I saw that. I'm like, oh, he's just, he's just casually hanging out with Barry Bonds. <laughs> <laughs> Chilling with Barry Bonds. Man. He was about to go up to speak, and he was like, man, I'm nervous, man. I've never done this before. Now, in my head, I'm going, yes, you have. Yes, but, you have. <laughs> come on. No come one on, believes that. Bro, you're Barry Bonds. <laughs> yeah. You've never done this before. So he was kind of trying to set up, just in case he was terrible up there. He's sure. trying to set it up by saying he'd never done it before. Yeah. He, I mean, he's GOAT, man. And I don't yeah. get starstruck over people. Yeah, but it was a moment where I was like, "This is Barry Bonds, fool!" To myself, yeah, this is Barry Bonds, fool, right here next to you. I didn't make it to the big leagues in baseball, but I made it to the big leagues in speaking, baby. If I'm up there with Jerry, Barry, Cedric, Matthew Knowles, Dougie Fresh, Demarcus Cousins, what's up? Jeez, man. <laughs> yeah, no, and I, hey, man, the whole steroids thing. I agree with you. There's a reason they call that that era of baseball the era, the steroids right. era. Right. It's not because a lot of dudes were doing it and, you know, we can debate, you know, right or wrong, but the bottom line is that swing of Barry Bonds is beautiful. Come like on, I, man. I still, still got to hit the ball. I still go to YouTube every once in a while, just watch him swing. Oof. It's like, ugh, man, it's just, it's, it's ridiculous. And I remember, like I said, going to the ballpark and just being excited every time he came to the, uh, right. Every time he came to the play, I actually went, to, I went to a game and it was on, I think, did he have the, he had the opportunity to either tie or pass Hank Aaron. I can't remember. He didn't do it that game, mm -hmm. but he was on that side, uh, you know, on the verge of breaking that record. And then on the other side, they were playing the Braves and Bobby Cox, the manager for the, uh, for the uh, Braves, Braves was about to break the record for most ejections ever by a manager. So I'm like, man, this is gonna be an incredible game. If I can see both of these records broken. You know, right. that would be amazing. Neither one happened. Bobby Cox got close. He definitely yeah. marched out to the umpire a couple of times like, oh, it's going to happen. And then <laughs> he kept, he kept it, he kept it calm, you know, so it didn't actually happen. But uh, yeah, no, man, Barry Bonds is, you know, one of my favorite ball players of all time. Come on, man. You know, I mean, we, I wore high top cleats because he did. I wore yeah. number 20, you know, 25 at, at a certain yeah. part in my career because he did. Uh, the bat, the little bat. I was left, I was yeah. right handed trying to do his stance from the yeah. right side yeah. just because I was Barry Bonds <laughs> trying to yeah. swing and look as effortless as him and watch the balls fly but he's a master yeah hitter of the baseball 100 percent. not just i'm talking how his bat hits the ball with the backspin necessary to make it go where it went when he hit the ball right amazing yeah just yeah the quick hands i mean yeah we could talk about barry bonds forever All but uh long. no man that was such a cool cool thing that you were a part of and and i remember yeah. looking at the lineup and seeing that you followed cedric Cool. And uh, I mean, before we get out of here, what was, you know, because again, I, I've heard some stories about about Cedric the Entertainer from other comedians saying, yeah. I mean, comedians treat their craft like athletes, right? So like they want to uh, put on such a good show. They want to put on such a good, um, you know, mm -hmm. showing that the person after them, they don't want them to struggle, but they want them right. to work for it. Right. And so right, I've heard right. some just really funny stories about Cedric the Entertainer and the amount of energy he brings to the stage and then people having to follow him. It's like, well. Yeah. Here we go. It's gonna be a rough right. night. 
So what was that like for you, man? Because obviously you guys do different things, but you guys are trying to entertain, trying to move the crowd. Like, what was right. that like for you? For for me, I mean, I after after 25 years, you know, doing what I do, JT, it was nothing. I don't care yeah. who's front in front of me. I don't care who's behind me. I'm when I get the microphone in an audience, I'm going to do what I do no matter what. And I don't so say that great, from man. a I don't say that from a place of trying to of brag. You know, I'm trying to be a braggart and I'm all that. No, no, no. It's not that. I have supreme confidence in my skill set with the microphone in an audience, no matter who's out in front of me. Yeah. Meaning no matter what age group of audience is in front of me, no matter what speaker is in front of me or entertainer that's in front of me or celebrity that comes before me or behind me in, in, in reality, in my mind, you better prepare for coming behind me or before me, because I'm going to bring yeah. the audience to a place that you, I don't know what you can do, but I know what I can do. Right. So it wasn't a thing for me to go after him. Yeah. I didn't think so. I thought I'd ask though. I feel like yeah. and that's what, that's why, that's why you're great, man. That's why you're great Thank at what you, you do. Cause you have that, that mentality. I, and I've never, I've never, in my, at least for me, I don't take that as a, a braggadocious thing. Right. Thank like I just you. think it's like, you have to have that mentality though. If you want to be great. I mean, you well, can't, you know, I didn't like, have hey. it in baseball, JT. I didn't have it in baseball. And that's why I probably hit a limit because I didn't think you have to, you have to almost think, man, I'm the, mm, yeah, the S word. Yeah, I sure. don't care. I'm the S word. I don't. It doesn't matter what whoever's pitching, whoever we're playing. I'm yeah. a baller. I didn't have that. I, I played more. I played more with a. I hope that I have a great game tonight. Right. And then I'll have moments when I get up to the plate. Bang. I hit one up the middle and my swing is feeling right. OK, now I'm gonna have a night tonight. Yeah. But that same confidence didn't carry on a consistent basis throughout my career. So once I was done playing baseball, I made a mind shift. My mind shift was I'll never doubt my abilities. I'm not saying that I don't at times, but that, that, that doubt is short lived because yeah. I've decided in my mind, this is what I do. And I'm one of the greatest to ever do it. That's in my own mind. I don't walk yeah. around saying that out loud. I'm just yeah. saying it just based upon our conversation. That's the kind of mindset you have to have Every coach that you probably interviewed thinks that way in their own mind. Yeah. Every trainer that you've interviewed thinks that way in their own mind. Every player should think that way in their own mind. I'm not saying go out and say it, but in your own mind, Ali said, I'm the greatest who told him that he did. So I took it from him. Yeah. No, I man, I, I think that's a hundred percent, a hundred percent true. I mean, we're watching, we're watching the finals right now. Right. I think uh, game three was last night. Yeah. So by the time this airs, I don't know. I'm not sure what the schedule is. The files may probably yeah. over at that point. But um, I mean, you see it in those guys, right? You see it in Curry. You see when, yes. Steph, when Steph does his thing. It's like, I've always felt like I'm a, I'm a huge Steph Curry fan. I always feel like that dude carries himself pretty, pretty humbly. Mm -hmm. But you can also tell that he has a, like a supreme amount of confidence in himself. And he knows he's the best shooter. He knows he's the best. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So I, I don't have to turn it. He's going to have to turn it up to beat Boston, though. Yeah, well, we'll see if, he, boys we'll see if he plays, right? Yeah, right. I don't have his ankle last night, right. but didn't he's look, hurt. Didn't he's look great. Yeah. yeah, but uh, no, I mean, I, I love that. I've always thought too, you know, I, I don't want to keep you too long because I know yeah. you got some uh, family stuff to do today, but yeah. um, I've always looked at it like this too, man. When you're looking at different people who are doing different things, when so for me, I, I've done a few speaking things here and there, small team talks. I, they, they had me do one like 250 student thing. I won't do that again, not really my lane. Um, <laughs> a bunch I, we could talk about that later a bunch of stuff went wrong there i wasn't right. set up for success but not really my not really my thing either um but you know it's uh interesting because when i see a different speaker when i see you as a bunch of other guys we know that are are amazing i look at you guys speak and think yeah i, don't, I, I probably shouldn't be doing this you know what i mean like i'm like these guys are <laughs> these guys are beasts i should not be doing this and then i see other people and i don't think hey i'm better than that person but i think what when they do their right. thing i'm not scared to speak does that make right. sense? Yes. It's like, okay, maybe I'm not as bad in this area or this area, or maybe I'm not too far from off from that. But I feel like you can tell when you're watching greatness because it makes you just want to be like, no, I'm good. Like, right. You know, I'm, yeah, I don't need to do this, you know, because that person is so, so good. Not right. meaning that, not saying that you stop doing what you're doing, but, you know, that's always how I kind of measure it too, you know, kind of what you're saying. Like you can just tell certain things you do. If you start having that feeling all the time where it's like, no, I'm, I'm not as good as that person. I'm, and, Right. We're in the wrong, wrong lane. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So it's a, it's an interesting thing. So, uh, well, there you go, guys. Good you stuff. A, a quick little episode, a little music, some confidence talking Barry Bonds, all that stuff. So yes. man, it's good to have you back, Kevin. Thank um, you, sir. 
Yeah. I, I don't know if you get a little bit of a break during the summer or if your schedule is still packed, but Ooh, it's still kind of packed, but they're trying to get me a few days here and there. Yeah. It's, it's, it's kind of just because some schools are lasting longer. That's true. Some schools and districts have <clears throat> classified staff do summer events rather than waiting until school starts because when school starts it's more the teachers and things like that so sure i do have things in my calendar you know like crazy but i'm just gonna ride it out man and take it one day at a time and just be grateful for every single one there you go man so as always we appreciate you guys uh please subscribe uh, on youtube apple Podcasts, spotify wherever you listen to your podcast subscribe there Uh, Make sure you rate and review us if you wouldn't mind with a five-star review. We definitely appreciate that. And then you can also follow us on all of our social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube at Home Team Sacramento. Let's go. Make sure you guys follow us there. Spread the word. And we will will talk to you guys next week. Brace up. Brace it.